on my way to a trail right now. Uh, trails are like my favorite places to go because you always find something new down there. Uh, right now I'm about to make a left turn on Whistler. Heading towards Walmart and Stockton. Take some photos down there. I got my tripod and my backpack with me. Right now, I'm taking photos from my camera on my phone only because my uh, digital Nikon camera is uh, it's not functioning right right now. Uh, I went and got a new memory card at first. When I got it, it already had a memory card, and the memory card uh, temporarily was saying that it was damaged. But I managed to bypass that, and it managed to work for me for like probably a good few weeks. But after a while, it started to the, the memory card started to break down on me. So I went to Best Buy got me a new uh, memory card, uh, SanDisk, I think that's what it was called for 64 gigabytes. Um, so I went and got that, and it's, uh, I went back home, you know, thought everything was gonna be cool, uh, put the memory card in the, the camera. The camera told me that I needed to format it. I didn't know what that was at first. Uh, so I managed to go on YouTube look up how to format a memory card a new memory card uh, They say you can do it on MacBook and PC. So I did it on the MacBook um, Formatted it Or at least I thought I did put it back in the camera and it still said uh, Memory card needs to be formatted or format memory card. So I do that again probably like a few times on the MacBook still the same result so I figured out that you can format the memory card on uh, the digital camera. I did that uh, a few times, but still the same result. So I tried looking on YouTube to see if there was anybody who could relate to what I was going through. And I couldn't really find uh, a video related to my situation. So next step for me from, from there was to take it to a tech professional. So went to Best Buy, I scheduled an appointment to go to Best Buy to get my uh, camera checked out, uh, memory card checked out. Um, they sat down with me, sat down with me for about an hour and uh, still couldn't find out what was going on with the memory card. So now my next solution is to take it to a a uh, phone repair place where they don't just only repair phones but also laptops and digital cameras uh, still haven't made that move yet but I plan on making that move sometime this week so now right now what I'm currently doing is taking photos from my camera on my iPhone 11 um, just ordered me some lenses for my camera on my iPhone and actually pretty nice uh they haven't came yet but what i ordered was a telescope with three lenses one for wide range uh one for macro one another one for fish eye and then just a regular telescope or telephoto however you want to call it as well as uh, a separate wide range lens only because the more the merrier, right? I'm trying to take good photos, you know. I'm just it's not for uh for show and tell, but to share my experiences with everybody. The beauty that I see, I want everybody to see it too. So here we are. Uh I'm about to show you where I'm at, where I like to take my photos, the trail I like to come to. And there's more trails that I usually go to, but this one is one of my favorite ones uh, out here in Stockton. Um, I can't really tell you where, 
There's no sign, so we can... There's a sign down there, but it's too far to even read, but... Yeah. Finna grab my stuff and go take these photos. So here we are at the trail. Little gate that I gotta climb over. Got all the wildflowers over there. Got the little wildlife over here. Can hear the birds chirping. Little bridge. You can see bridges down there. Little lake. Yeah, so I'm gonna go for probably a mile walk, try to find some new spots to take some photos. But uh, I like to come down uh, here to take photos over by the lake. I really can't wait to get my camera fixed so I can take some better shots. But don't get me wrong, the iPhone 11 takes some really good photos. Really good photos. Look at the sky, the clouds, the definition of the clouds, the sun. I like to get this, <clears throat> the sun in my photos. Uh, it just makes the picture look a lot better. More natural. Coming down over here by the lake. Oh shit. I almost got the dust. Excuse my language. Yeah, it's really nice down here. So I wanted to share a little something on how I got into photography. Uh, so for the longest time, I've just been trying to figure out what it is that I like. And a lot of us struggle with that, trying to figure out what it is that we wanna do. Most of us go into things that we don't really like doing only because it's something that we like we need at the moment or just because our parents wants us to get a job or you just feel rushed into finding a career that you hope will change your life taking big steps like that really stresses a person out a lot and i'm one to tell because there's been a lot of times when i put myself in a situation which I should have not, only because I felt like I needed this. I felt like I needed it at the time. Uh, never rush yourself into doing something that in a long run will not benefit you at all because you don't wanna be miserable for the rest of your life working at a job that you don't like. And me, this year, our last year alone, I've been job hopping. Went from, I'm not even gonna name all the jobs, but it's been, it's just a lot that I had over the last year. Now uh, I can finally say I'm stable with one, working at Amazon and Tracy. It's been, uh, it's been treating me well. I work four days out of the week, three days off, still able to, you know, enjoy my life be able to do all this, the things that I love doing. I always take note of that. Anything that you like or makes you feel good doing, no matter what it is, hopefully, I mean, I can't say that. Just anything. Let's just say anything that makes you happy. Do it. 
because if that feeling that you that you get you know whenever doing something that you like doing whatever it is takes over and just like causes you to just feel like jumping out of your body you know take advantage of that take advantage of that feeling because that feeling you never know can eventually end up making you profit in the long run or whatever it is that you're looking for just follow your instincts and your intentions will lead you in the right direction i promise you that so uh, how i got into photography uh my mom-in-law told me that i should start doing modeling and i wanted to take her advice you know it's a new year i'm trying to do things differently so me and my boy buddha bands i'm just gonna say his uh his media name um decided to go down by a trail over by his house uh we went down there took a few photos on his phone and uh it actually ended up coming out good uh took some photos of him and he told me that i had a i had an eye for it and ever since that day i took it serious started going on more trails started taking more photos uh, now when it came to editing it wasn't really all that complicated you know with exposure brilliance and all that uh really all it matters is when it comes down to editing your photos, the lighting, or at least that's my opinion. You don't want too much lighting in your photos. You don't want it too much. You don't want it to be too dark. So, you know, filter, edit the filters just a little bit and you have yourself a perfect photo. But uh, it almost came natural to me, um, especially just being out there taking photos. It really felt like the thing to do for me and i for one always been a nature person huge nature person i remember uh sitting on my phone going on google uh back in middle school and in high school looking at landscape photos thinking of myself just being in different places you know i was always a curious type uh i want to be like a indiana jones that's all that's what i always say i want to be like indiana jones go out travel find new things discover explore new things you know it just sounds like the life for me and every time i think about it it just boils my blood i just feel like my soul wants to just jump out of my body uh, but the editing really didn't come to it wasn't really too hard for me uh after that i started taking my photos seriously taking photos more seriously uh went down to the marina out here in antioch on march i mean not antioch stockton my bad on march lane yeah so i went to the marina i like taking pictures down by the water it's just something about that that just soothes me um we came across this guy he was casting his fishing pole out so i asked him if i could take a few photos of him and he told me yeah it was like, it's good. I told him, you know, just act natural. Don't act like as if I'm here or anything. So I snapped a few shots. Then afterwards, I thanked him. And uh, he asked me, um, he was just like, so what are you taking photos for? I told him, mainly because I'm trying to become a photographer and I'm trying to build my portfolio up. He was just like, oh, you're doing all this on your phone. I said, yeah, right now I don't have a camera, but I'm working towards getting one. He asked me, uh, do you know which one that you were looking into getting? I told him, right now I'm doing my research on uh, Nikon and Canon. And uh, so far, I think I have my eyes set on the Nikon. And he was just like, okay, okay, that's cool. Uh, he told me that he has a nephew that does sporting photography or sports photography and that he can uh, get my, my information to him. And I told him, yeah, that would be nice. You know, I'm trying to get as much experience as I can in uh, the field of photography. So we exchanged numbers that day and went about our business. Now come next day, me and my beautiful woman, my gorgeous queen, 
went to go pick her grandma up to go take her to T-Mobile so that she can uh, get a new phone since she's been trying to get a new phone for the longest time. We go down to T-Mobile and uh, as, as her grandma is in the store talking to the specialist, we're, me and my girls outside chilling in the car and I get a random call. Um, looks like one of those toll-free calls, you know what I'm saying? Just random area code number. Um, I didn't save dude's uh, name in my contacts. I just I just got his number, that's it. So, uh, he calls me, he's all like, hey Grant, this is, uh, this is David. And I was just like, oh, hey, how you doing, David? You know, wasn't expecting him to give me a call the next day, but he was just like, where where are you at right now? You know, to me at the time that just sounded kind of strange. You know, why is a man calling me to ask me where I'm at? But I told him I'm just out and about right now. <laughs> and uh, he was he was telling me that you know from the kindness of his heart, God told him to give me to give me a digital camera that he that he's been holding on to. Me not knowing that this guy is a photographer, has been a photographer for a while now. My passions, my intentions went out into the universe. And somehow he kept, he caught on to my feelings and decided to go, decided to take, to take action on that. So out of the kindness of his heart, the guy gave me his camera. It was a digital camera, Nikon DSLR 40X. And he told me that he wanted to meet up with me so he could give it to me before he left. Met up with him. Uh, it was in a handbag, the digital camera handbag. Um, everything that uh, was in it was, it was one of those big um, flashes. I can't really tell you uh, the name of it. He gave me a flash, he gave me a mini tripod uh two uh batteries for the camera and uh, uh, a memory card the memory card i was talking to you guys about earlier but um yeah so out of the kindness of his heart he he gave me a camera and i was shocked i was surprised i was just i just couldn't believe it I, i'm thinking to myself damn like dreams really do come true you know you just really gotta focus on your passions focus on what makes you happy and Right now, photography makes me happy. Taking photos, being around, surrounded by nature like this makes me happy. And he caught on to that. And he told me he knows how it is starting something off, especially with, you know, with low funds and stuff. Uh, he's just gonna give me, he just gave it to me. I kept saying that it was crazy. My girl was just like, don't think of it as it being crazy. It's a blessing, think of it as a blessing. So that's how I look at it now. It's truly a blessing how I got that camera. So my friend telling me that I have an eye for photography, David, the guy who gave me his digital camera, the two people, as well as my girl and her mom, so four people who encouraged me into taking photos and recording and all that you know i thank them a lot this is how i got my journey started it's beautiful out here it's supposed to shine uh the sun was peeking out a little bit more there goes the sun right there